Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I'm going to go over my top five inks, um, kind of, of all time. We're going to, it's, there's a little bit of an exception to that. Um, and also joining me is my wife. Hi. Um, so she's also going to go over her top five inks. Um, I, this was very last minute, but our favorite at the moment, at least. Um, so I have a lot of inks to pick from, so this was rather difficult. There's a bunch that I really, really enjoy that I'm leaving out, but it'll be okay. Um, also, you can talk to both of us on the uh, Fountain Pen Discord. I will leave a link to that below. You can take a look at that. I'd love to have all of you come over there and join. And at the end of the uh, period for Inko Rimo, if you're willing to participate, um, we do have one set up in the server. I'm doing a giveaway, uh, a decently substantial one, nothing crazy, but uh, a decently sized one with multiple winners. So if you would like to come over and join that, I would love to see you guys there. All right, without further ado, um, you want me to go first? Yeah, you can go first. Okay. So, <clears throat> no surprise to anyone who's watched my channel, my first one is Bung Box June Bride. I love this color. I love the shading. It's the perfect um, shade of like teal turquoise and it has really really good uh, variation in the color it kind of goes from dark to light and it really depends on how heavy the flow is in your pen um you can get some some pretty dark turquoise or something kind of like bright and vibrant it's very saturated and i really really like it i actually have two bottles of this even though i'll never use them all um i just like the color that much um why don't we switch back and forth here you can go and do your first one okay but i have two of mine for the the top what? Spot. <laughs> there's no top spot. There's no. no there's no order to no, these. No, no. Okay. Don't don't pressure okay. me even more. Okay. Just pick no, no, one. no. No. I have two that are vying for both number one. There's so, no number one. No, there's yeah, no number okay. one, guys. <laughs> just just bring in bring in one of your inks. Okay. This one is um, by far my favorite. That's this, not even labeled. I know. I didn't label it. I didn't. Here's the I didn't have time. Here's the bottle. Um, it's um, Habia, which is part of the Tokyo Metro line that Bungo Box did. Bung Box for us in America. So, um, I really love this ink. It's really a it's it's a nice light color. It but matches. It, it's very close to my desk shade. I, I love it. It's it's one of my favorites. Um, so I constantly am using this, and yeah, this is this is number one of. Um, I actively dislike that ink. Space number two, top one spot. There's there's no number two. There's no order here. That's making me feel worse. Next up is Monteverde Purple Rain. I love this shade of purple. It is so freaking awesome. Um, it KWZ Gummy Berry come very, very close. I like the name on that one a lot better. Um, but this one's just, uh, God, this ink is so, so good. I absolutely love this. This is my go-to purple. It's got a little bit of hints of almost like pink in there, like magenta shading. It's, it's amazing. Oh my gosh. And it, it, the flow's darn near perfect. It's really close to like, um, a kind of in between Diamine and Roshizuku, uh, flow wise. So if you like either one of those, Monteverde inks are, uh, are pretty good. Nick, what's next for you? Number two spot for number one. This is. <laughs> <laughs> this should also be on my list because I use this thing constantly. This but. is, um, Pilot Iroshizuku Amairo. Um, me and Jake both really love this one and. I'm constantly trying to pressure him into buying another bottle because we use this one a whole lot. Um, it's just a nice blue, and it's really um, wet flowing as well. So It's really easy to read back. It's very vibrant, which I like, and she likes the, the color, mm -hmm. so it, it works for us. And it doesn't, it's not, it, it makes my pins smooth. I like it. That's not what makes your pen smooth, but we're not going to discuss that today. Next up, um, <laughs> if I had to pick a number one spot, this would be very, very close to it. This is Lamy Vibrant Pink. I know this was not a popular ink necessarily. This was not a popular pen, but I love this color. It is so, so gorgeous. I hate that color. It's amazing. You get hints of kind of gold down here. Um, the pinks, it's so deep. There's so much shading in this, in this ink. It's such it's, an ugly pink. I love it. I, I love it so much. This is this. If I'm picking a pink ink, this is probably going to be the one I'm putting in. I probably have 15 or 20 pink inks. This is this is my favorite by a, a pretty wide gap. It's it's amazing. If you can find a bottle of this, do it. Um, if I can find another bottle, I might actually buy one because um, I've I've used a decent bit of this one as well. Your turn. So my next favorite, we've just um, recently gotten the Troublemaker ink. <sighs> And this was my choice because Jake picked one and then I picked a color as so, well. I didn't use this because I haven't used the ink enough to confidently say it's in my top five. 
but this is Milky Ocean, and I love the blue, purple. It, it's 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 amazing. That anyway. one's not labeled either. Shh, that's why I didn't, I didn't use it. So you don't. I don't. I'm not at any fault. Anyway. So this is Troublemaker Sea Glass. It has this really nice gray green. Sometimes at some points like a a blue color it as looks well. Like sea glass. You know what pen this would fit perfect in that I just thought about? What? That Franklin Kristoff Coke bottle. Oh yeah, it would. Oh yeah, it my would. gosh, we might have to buy one of those. Okay. Okay, so I really like this ink. The only um, qualms I have about it. Qualms. 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 Same thing. Well. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, is that when you actually like write with it, sometimes it comes back more gray than than the shading, which is displayed very well here. Yeah, I've noticed that too with the um, with the Milky Ocean. Actually, it's a lot more blue than it is purple. Even though you can clearly, um, I'm going to see how close I can get this to this camera. I need a macro lens. Give me money, guys. Um, you can see some purple and kind of like pink in here. You get virtually none of that on when you're writing back. And now I've only tried this in uh, like fine medium nibs. I need to try it in a really, really wet one and see what happens. But yeah, same case for this. You just don't yeah. get that full spectrum that's shown off um, in, the, in the swabs here. All right, next up, Pilot Eroshizuku Momiji. Oh, that's a good one. It is. It's like a red pink, which is interesting because you hate pink. Um, it's more red to me, but... I think, it's, I think it's very much in the middle. It's very vibrant. It's very punchy. It's very, very easy to read back. I love using this ink. Eroshizuku inks are probably my favorite. Um, just like composition wise their performance they're stellar they're just they're just amazing um, I've got a lot of new inks that almost replace this on this list but I, I love this color it's a fantastic go-to and just like I mentioned with Lamy Vibe Pink if I'm going for a red color this is probably where I'm gonna go it's either gonna be this or Noodler's Widowmaker nine times out of ten it's this one um, it's 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 just amazing I, I absolutely love this color and you can get some really really crazy shading on it all right so, Pilot Amairo and the Hibia line, the um, the one from Bunker Box. Box. Yeah, so those were number one, basically, and then oh Troublemakers <laughs> was number two. My <laughs> next two are, like, number three. So, I really like Blackstone Blue Gum, which, fun fact, I actually bought for Jake, and... Yeah. I like it a whole lot. <laughs> I just remembered Diamond Skull and Roses. I could have put that on this list. Oh, you could have, uh, but it's fine. It's, I have too many It's inks. okay. <laughs> so I'm going to try to show. This looks a little dark like this. I'm going to try to show it off a little bit. It's kind of like a very deep blue-green. I'll do some color correction in post just to get this um, absolutely perfect. Um, but yeah, you get a little bit of red shading on here, but this ink, it smells so good. It's like It mint. does. I normally don't like scented inks, but this smells like mint, and it's it's amazing when you're sitting there writing long form because it just kind of wafts up to you. It's, but it's, it's like really no nice. mint that you've ever smelled before. It's it's not like peppermint or spearmint. No, it, it's hard it's hard to place, but it, it's it's very pleasant. It's fancy mint. Fancy mint. Okay. All right, my last one. Um, <clears throat> again, I didn't pick an order, but this would all these would kind of be number one spot inks. Diamond Autumn Oak. I've said this a billion times, but this is what Apache Sunset Sunset should strive to be. This is like when it's grown up and matured and isn't garbage anymore. Um, Apache. <laughs> <you, laughs> um, Apache Sunset. Is that what it is? Sunset. Sunset. You said Sunset. Words <laughs> are hard, aren't they? Um, <laughs> you did originally. Words are very hard. I didn't. You misheard. You did. Anyway, this is very much like an orange brown color. There's a little bit of almost like a, a yellowy tone in there but this is if I'm, I'm not like basing inks off of seasons that would be a really really fun thing to do that's a video idea but this would be fall this color like is fall to me no it's, it's i don't like it does that remind you of like the leaves and stuff though maybe some pumpkin spice oh, latte hush. nonsense hush um but this is this is an amazing amazing ink if you're looking for something shading especially in like a flex nib or something like that that you really want to get a lot of color variation in your writing with um, or if you use calligraphy pen something like that this would be a a very good choice um it's it's amazing you can get a lot of varying shades from this all right your last one that's inferior to the one on that page <laughs> i know i know he was gonna hate this as soon as i picked it i love i don't hate these i you, love the you, color you hate organic studios though you have this big hole you did that big hole video about how like you just don't like organic studio that was not the video the video by the way guys you can find this on my channel the video is not that at all i i like these inks 
I have two problems with them. One, they crystallize and the, he hates it. They do crystallize, <laughs> and I hate it. That's the one I hate the most. The second one is they're just they're so so heavily saturated that they're an absolute pain to clean out. I'm gonna fill up a pen later with this. Let yeah. you use it, and then you can clean yeah. it out. And you no, can have no, fun. no, no, no. I totally get that. The sheening in it. So compared to this one to um, Blackstone, so both of them have some kind of like sheen with them. A little bit of red sheen. Blackstone's sheen is very like minimal <laughs> though compared to Organic Studios. So I don't know if you can tell from the actual writing part of this. I'm gonna try my best to kind of get it to reflect a little bit. You can kind of see it there. So when you write with this, you get very. Very, 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 very little of that green. Yeah. It's mostly the red. So it can be really difficult if you use fine. Also takes a long time to dry. You, it does. And smears. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, though. I like this ink. <laughs> Leave it alone. Back no, off. They're pretty. They're pretty. But. They're pretty. It's mine. Okay. So um, you saw... Some some really nice fine inks today. You saw some lesser inks, but um, I would lesser inks. <laughs> I would love to see um, everyone else's top five inks down in the comment. I'm always interested in trying out new ink brands, new ink colors. Uh, my wife even more so. Um, she's the reason we have so many bottles of ink. It's my favorite. Um, we've probably picked up an additional what would you say 10, 15 bottles since my ink collection video. Mm. I don't remember when you did that one. <laughs> so. I wish I didn't remember it. But yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, if you have any questions about any of the inks that I mentioned today or anything else, um, you know, just let me know. And if you would like to, I would love to see a top five ink list from all of you. And come join us in Discord. Yeah. Come, come join us in the Discord as well. Again, um, I would love to see you guys there. I'm doing Inca Rimo. So if you join, you will guarantee get a letter from me. Unless, like... 500 people join and then I, I, you'll still get one it just might take a little bit longer but if you join the discord you're going to get a letter from me um if if you're open to that and you'll be entered into the giveaway um which again is I, i'm still trying to plan out the items um but i'm thinking a pelican m205 star ruby might be part of it well that that's just a, a spitballing idea we'll see yeah we'll see on that one but um, yeah, so please come over there, join us. Um, I would love to hear from all you guys. We're we're fairly active. Um, we're a little bit smaller, so it's not like super you know fast paced, hard to keep up with. Um, it's very very nice. We have a bunch of different channels. But yeah, so we talked about bears today. We did talk about bears today very briefly. Um, but yeah, if you don't mind, come over there and join us. Love to talk to all of you. Um, I would love to see all of your inks. Um, if you can organize them by order position, like my wife did, somehow using five inks to fill in three slots you do that um i'm not able to i don't have that much self-control but yeah thanks for tuning in guys hope you all have a wonderful evening or day whenever time i upload this and uh talk to you later bye